I feel about being stage three, about having 400 horsepower. Oh my gosh, I wish I had done it sooner. But just listen to this real quick. Building it, building it, building it, building it, building it. Building it. Zero Vlogs, I'm out here with my pops, he's on the treadmill today. It is another beautiful sunny day out here in California. Today is a very special video. I have a lot of other upgrades and mods we're gonna be doing for the Subaru, but today I'm gonna show you guys all about the benefits of doing a headlight restoration on your cars. I know a lot of you guys might be like me where your headlights are starting to get more tinted, more faded, have the yellow hue to them and are not clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and do is show you the exact method that I do to clean out my headlights and to make them look pristine and make them look crisp. As you guys might have seen, my brother is in town. He's got the Model 3 Tesla. My pops, he's got his Jaguar right here. We have our old Mercedes, and my mom's got her brand new E450 in there. If you guys like this video, hit the like button. If you want to follow the journey, hit the subscribe button. And I always keep saying, guys, keep going after your dreams and make them your reality. Let's have a great day, a blessed day. Stay safe. Let's get it. Peace. All right, so the main topic of this video, like I said at the beginning, is going to be getting my headlights fixed up a little bit. They're not too bad, but they're getting a little bit hazy, a little bit dirty, and need to definitely be clean. I've noticed the difference between my headlights and the power as far as the brightness I'm getting. So I have the Meguiar's Heavy Duty Headlight Restoration Kit. I'm gonna be going ahead and putting that on the car, and I'm gonna be showing my review of a before and an after of how I like exactly putting this on the vehicle. You guys might be able to tell from this side a little bit. It's not, again, it's not super bad, but it's just hazy. All right, so one more time, the Meguiar's Headlight Restoration Kit. We're gonna be going and doing that in the car. Let's get to it. All right, y'all, so first thing what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put the tape around the headlights. That way we can mark exactly where we're gonna be buffering, wiping out with the car, um, and get started. Living for weekends, wishing I could take a break from this world.
All right, you guys, so after that, all we're gonna do is briefly come here. We're gonna finish wiping it down before we get the wax to finish it. But so far, that's looking so much clearer. Look at that side. And then you can see it's still a little hazy on this side, clear. You see how it's a little hazy right here? You can't really see that too well. But if you come in here, you see how you can see everything, even that little strip right there, it's much clearer now. All right guys, so what we're gonna do for the last step is put this headlight coating on. Take a little wipe, so that way the water and the liquid and the coating isn't getting absorbed. Ah, there we go. So now we can just coat the headlight. So when we coat the headlight, the haze, the debris, the dirt, it won't stick onto the headlight as easily. It'll be a lot harder, so it will take more in order for this headlight to get dirty again. We're getting the last bit of dirt off. And then after this, we're gonna wipe it, and then we'll be all good to go. And then finish wiping it. Be the last bit, just a little tiny bit, just kind of touch up. Everything kind of pops out a little bit easier. Oh yeah, you can see. We zoom in, you can see how you can't really see the headlight in the far left right there. You see how you can clearly see the headlight in the far right. One more time, guys. The left's a little hazy. Once on to the right, you see how it's clear. Look to the left, you can see that that halo right there is a little foggy. And the sea light pillar, you can't really see it. It's still a little kind of hazy-ish. As you come here, you can clearly see that this isn't foggy anymore. It's not hazy, you can see everything. So if we come from a lower angle, you see how the halo, you can really see it. We'll come back to this side. You see how it's kind of like a foggy, hazy, it looks kind of out of focus, almost like a non-HD. So <laughs> HD side, not HD side. So I'm gonna do one more comparison at night, but as you guys can see, the C light and the HID and the halo, one more time, not as clear, but this, look at that. Look how clear that is. This versus this. All right, y'all, so it's nighttime now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the difference. This is the side that was not done. Now it's been raining, so obviously it's gonna be a little bit kind of moist and wet. This is the side that was not done. This is the side that was done. Now as you see, it's way clearer. Oh man, yeah, you can see that way easier. Super clear. So you can just see the difference. I'll go one more time to this side. You can kind of see, but you see how it's hazy and not as clear, look at the halo ring. Look at the HID. It's just not as clear. Well, if you come over here, you see how you can clearly see the halo ring right there? It is super, super clear. But anyway, guys, that's the difference. I hope the video may have helped a few of you. Anyway, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't follow the journey, hit the subscribe button. And like I always keep saying, guys, go after your dreams and make your reality. Everyone have a blessed day. Peace.